wonder how long it's going to take us to detox from Trump. He's been one hell of a drug. He's, he's one of those drugs that makes you paranoid and anxious and, and makes you pace. And, uh, but you keep coming back for more, right? I, th I think about how, and I have already talked about this, but how, you know, media really loved Trump, but, you know, for the sake of, you know, trying to keep their ratings, they said that they hated him. And I guess, I mean, a number of people who work for mainstream media might hate Trump, but the network themselves don't hate Trump. They loved Trump. Look at the ratings, look at the viewership, look at all the commercials that people get to watch, look at all the money. You know? Certainly gave uh, people like uh, Stephen Colbert a lot, of, uh, a lot of material, a lot of content, right? Trump tweeted something, it's, it's all over the news, right? You know, I... Personally... I wish Twitter would have canned Trump long ago when he, I mean, uh, I'm, if Twitter is going to have rules and they're going to enforce those rules upon the lowly people who, you know, don't have many followers or any of that, um, if they're going to hold those rules on the lowly people, then they should hold those same rules to the people, you know, even if they're president, you know? Now, I understand that there might have been some... Some people could try to start some legal issue with uh, banning the president, you know, be, you know, before they did. But... It was the tweets that uh, got everyone in an uproar. You know, and then if Trump would have moved on to a different, you know, like a right wing or a right leaning platform or a platform that 95% of the people on it are right wing or even far right, then I'm sure there would have been a, been a number of things said there, but at least it wouldn't have been, I don't think it would have been the news nearly as much, although... I'm betting that whatever platform he would have moved to, uh, people would have tried to shut down sooner, right? But uh, uh, people would have associated Trump with extremism far sooner, too. But, uh, yeah, Trump really gave media a lot to work with. Um and so we're in detox mode now. I'm in detox mode now. You know, I... I don't know what to fill my mind with now, because for the last four years, it's just been Trump, 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 Trump. It's dumb, but that's how it was. Now, some of what I've been thinking about is the people who enabled Trump. The people who praised him no matter what he did. But, you know, now that I've moved on from even that, I don't really know. I mean, I guess I I probably won't completely move on from that when, you know, Trump cultists continue to do some crazy things or the Q people do some crazy things, you know. But, I don't know, I could go in gloat mode like you see on, you know, CNN and MSNBC, you know, let's, let's gloat about Biden. I'd rather not do that. Now, there are some conspiracy theories that are floating around the right wingosphere, and all the conspiracy theories are stupid. Like, there are some that are saying that we're controlled by the military. We're under military rule right now, and Trump is the 19th president of some alternative government. You know, in one of the parts that I cut out, because I was just, like, flubbing on what I was saying, um, I had said, uh, oh, this country is run by the media. I said that instead of the military. And I, and I went, well, you know, uh, in some ways we are. We are definitely controlled by the media. 
We're controlled by, you know, what we see on mainstream media, what we see on alternative media, what we see in movies, in, on television programs in general. Yes, we, we are controlled by media. We shouldn't be. And maybe in the future we won't be as much because we're, there, there's a number of people who are actually thinking for themselves more. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, how do you control the masses? Well, with media. And what media put the public through for the past four years is disgraceful. Utterly disgraceful. I wish there was some way to hold media more accountable for the things that they put out. I guess I don't know what more to say. Do not denotate the texture of your buttocks.